In this video, we're going to learn about rational exponents and how they're related to radicals. A rational exponent is an exponent in the form of a rational expression or a fraction. So uh, if x is raised to the power of 1 over 3, it is the same as cube root of x to the power of 1. So the radical form is equal to the exponential form, the rational exponent and the radical. When x is raised to the power of 2 over 5, it's the same as the fifth root of x squared. We can always go back and forth between the two forms. They are equivalent. We can do operations on powers with rational exponents. For example, when we multiply two powers with the same base raised to the rational exponents, we follow the exponent laws. We keep the base and add the exponent. So here, the base is x, and the exponents 2 over 3 and 1 over 5 will be added together. Then we need to find the common denominator. The common denominator will be 15, and 2 will be multiplied by 5, so 10, and 1 will be multiplied by 3, 3. So then x will be raised to the exponent of 13 over 15. If I wanted to express this in a radical form, it would be the 15th root of x to the power of 13. Or I could also write it as 15th root of x and all of this to the power of 13. Those are equivalent expressions. Let's consider the following example. We have an expression that has a coefficient of two, two separate bases raised to two different rational exponents, and this whole expression is then raised to another rational exponent. We need to apply the power of a power law here. When we raise the uh, expression to a power, we raise the coefficient to that power, so 2 will actually be raised to 2 to the 5. Then we keep the base and multiply the exponents. 1 over 2 times 2 over 5, and y 3 over 4 times 2 over 5. We can convert the exponential form of the coefficient into a radical form. So then it looks like this, fifth root of two squared. Then we'll keep the exponential form of the basis for now. So then we'll get uh, twos reduced. And we have one over five as the exponent of x. And then y, four and two will be reduced. This will be four and then three, this will be two and three over 10 is our exponent of y. We can convert those two in the radical form as well, or we don't have to, it's up to us. We can keep this as fifth root of four times x to one over five, y to three over 10. And we can actually evaluate fifth root of four if we like to get the approximate value or just keep it as is. Now let's see how we can divide uh, expressions that contain powers with rational exponents. So in this case, we need to first divide the coefficients. 25 divided by 5 is 5. And then keep the base and subtract the exponents of the corresponding bases. So x, 4 over 5, subtract 1 over 5, y, 3 over 2, subtract 1 over 2. So the result will be x to the power of 3 over 5, y to the power of 2 over 2. And 2 over 2 can be expressed as the exponent of 1. 
So the final most simplified form will be 5, 3 over x to the power of 3 over 5, y. In this case, let's try to express this radical expression in terms of its exponential form. So we can take a square root of 64. 64 is a perfect square, so we can do square root of 64, and that will give us 8. The index of the square root is 2, right? It's there, but we just omit it. We don't write it. Then when we convert the radical form uh, of an expression into an exponential form, we might have to create the rational exponent. So x will be to the power of 3 over 2. The index of the radical goes into the denominator. And y will be 2 over 2. So then here, the final simplified expression will be 8x3 over 2y.